Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have some strong storms, not only for today, also for tomorrow, and as we go into the rest of next week, we're going to have this cold front coming down, bringing these strong storms all down the edge of this front as it goes through this. You can see for today, we do have the chances for tornadoes and all this white section. For tomorrow, is going to be there as well. And then as we go into Tuesday, then it's going to start stretching with that cold front going a little bit further down towards the south. Matter of fact, we're going to start getting to a point where y'all going to have below average temperatures really kicking in. And you can see this here. You have your temperatures, you have your above average heat still kicking on the west coast. But you got a big below average temperature anomaly that's going to be moving through with this cold front. And it's going to stick around potentially for the next two weeks. Be a little bit milder on the second week, but it will still be there. So I know this would be a nice relief for all y'all that don't want to be in this heat. Especially for Texas, y'all been dealing with a lot. And y'all still got power outages down there. And I'm still showing that as we go into late July, beginning of August, that our hurricane season is still going to ramp right back up. Right there starting into the Atlantic. Now I'm going to go into your information for today so you can see about the severe storms passing through. You can see in the yellow, these are severe thunderstorm warnings. And this is passing through southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, even eastern Iowa right now. And it's going to spark right back up as we go through this afternoon. Now yesterday we did have some strong wind gusts over here in all of this blue. This is right where those winds was showing after it goes late night, early in the morning. Then it came through for this morning as well as it came through Minnesota, Wisconsin. You got some damage and winds as well. But we also had three tornado reports. Reports. Quite surprised by that. The winds aloft was not strong at all, but we did get three reports. And you do see it did knock out some power as well. So Texas, you're still sitting at a half a million homes without power. Minnesota, you got to 80,000 without power. And it's starting to work on Wisconsin now with 10,000 without power. And today's going to be a lot of high 90s, even some hundreds kicking in for the central plains over across the four corners and the southwest going all the way up the west coast. Now with your heat indices, it's going to feel like 100 degrees for a lot of people going all the way up towards Iowa, northern Illinois, all the way towards Virginia and South Carolina for today. Bringing 90s and 100 right back again for tomorrow and with the heat indices it's going to be even stronger and now you have a lot of lower 48 sitting over 100 feels like temperatures for the central plains the south the southeast and mid-atlantic and the southwest and you do see your severe weather risk for today and we still have that chance for tornadoes like i showed you in the beginning it is a two percent but still we had three reports in a two percent yesterday so far here's your cities and states at risk for the potential tornado threat for today i am seeing mostly it's going to be a lot of damage in winds and hail as well even significant winds chance for 74 miles per hour winds are greater as hurricane force right here in this black section plus a five percent and the 15 percent so far, here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and wind threat for today. You also have the hail threat for today, even significant severe, at least two inches in diameter in that black. So here's your cities and states at risk for the potential hail threat for today. And we're just going to get a lot of these shortwave trough passing through, bringing thunderstorms, going away, bringing thunderstorms every time they keep coming by. You can see what your winds are law for this evening. It really kicks in for northern Illinois, going to a little bit of southern Wisconsin, going to Indiana, going to Michigan and Ohio. As you go through early in the morning, it's still going to be that threat for your thunderstorms and going off towards the intercoastal northeast for tomorrow night, while you got more storms building up in the same locations. Only difference is for tomorrow, it's going to spark up a lot more of the lower 48, bringing chances for the storms for the Central Plains, not just Ohio Valley and Great Lakes and the Northeast. Showing in the latest run with HRRR, those storms are really going to spark up as you go through the evening, 5, 6 o'clock for eastern Iowa. Then as you go through 7, 8 o'clock, it's going to pop, pop up for southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois. You got a group of storms passing through Michigan as well. But as you go all the way to 10 and 11 o'clock, then it's going to be all in Michigan and everything's going to pass through for the early morning hours. But you have strong storms coming until then, bringing a lot of winds. Just showing to 11 p.m. as you start from 4 o'clock on, it brings a 40 to 50, the 60 in the red, even brings some 70 right there for northern Illinois, a little bit of eastern Iowa. 
chances for damage and winds. And it does carry with those storms to western Michigan as you go through the evening. This is going to be all night long. It's going to start weakening down as it goes towards eastern Michigan, but it's going to come off strong. Then as you go overnight and early morning hours, you're going to have the next short wave trough coming through, bringing some damage and winds for the upper Midwest, for Montana and North Dakota, while you get the storms going across the northeast. And we get more storms brewing in the same regions for eastern Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, even a little bit of West Virginia, Pennsylvania. Those are 40, 50, and 60 plus miles per hour wind gusts. And it's going to come right back for Wyoming, Colorado, to Central Plains, for Nebraska and Kansas. Bringing 40 and 50 plus miles per hour wind gusts with those storms also. Showing you do have the hail threat for today, but you can see how it comes off really strong, really heavy, and then it weakens down as it comes across. And then that's why you have your biggest chance for hail over here from Montana and the Dakotas, because this is where your strongest part of your shortwave trough will be coming through. Then your upper level winds is going to carry the storms across after that. Also showing it, we'll be bringing some heavy rainfall for northern Illinois, southeastern Wisconsin, for central and northern Indiana, southern Michigan, northern Ohio, and western Pennsylvania. One and two inches plus of rainfall. And for tomorrow, you see how it carries across. You have your chances for your tornadoes, just like I showed you before. It is a 2%, but once again, we did see three tornado reports yesterday in a 2%. So here's your cities and states at risk four tornadoes for Monday. You also have the wind threat for tomorrow. You have the 5% and the 15%. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for Monday and a hail threat, which is a little bit smaller of a threat for tomorrow. Still, here's your cities and states at risk. The same areas that has a tornado threat has the hail threat. Now, keep in mind, Colorado State University sees another uptick of severe weather for the tornado part for tomorrow, so that part could increase. And quick reminder, just showing as we go towards the end of July, we're still going to have the high pressure bringing these waves around. They're going to come off strong, weaken, and strengthen up again. And as we go towards the end of July, the beginning of August, that portion is going to strengthen. I'm still showing we have that portion for two different paths for these tropical waves coming. So you can see as we go through to for today, we do have our storm still coming in from that short wave trough from the upper Midwest through the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, bringing you the chances for the tornadoes. And it really sparks up as you go through 6 and 7 o'clock, as this goes through mostly for eastern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and it will go into Michigan and northern Indiana. And you do see some chances for hail. Those are hail cores, all that white in there. Chances for hail to come with these storms, even large hail right there from Michigan for that part. That is around 9 o'clock tonight. Remember, that is central time up here and as you go through the evening look at all the strong chances for hail on these storms as you go through 10 11 o'clock then it goes through michigan for the rest of the evening through the early morning hours but you can see also for tomorrow these are going to spark right back up as it comes across southern minnesota eastern iowa chances for tornadoes southern wisconsin northern illinois going towards northern indiana and a little bit of michigan as well you see how you start getting those hail cores coming in there they start strengthening as it goes overnight bringing overnight storms thank you for your time everybody hope you have a great day today i just want to update you on what's going on with these storms for today they are bringing a lot of damage and winds with them as well i do see it still like i said last time a big damage and wind event mostly out of these storms but as you can see we still get these isolated tornado threats as well and i still stand by my word we got about a week maybe a little bit more of a break on the dust but we know what happened last time i will keep you updated but so far i'm seeing a big plume of dust coming through still for the next week then our tropics are going to start ramping up again so we'll keep you updated on that as well now i have a quick message to go out for today before you go isaiah 29 13 and 14. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near to me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Remember, we have this heat right now. We're about to get a relief from that as well. And after this dust starts passing through, our tropics will unfortunately start ramping up again. And I will keep you updated. Thank you again for your time. I hope you have a very blessed day today. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen.
Have a great day, everybody. Watch out for that heat.